Clapperboard. Welcome to Alex Workshop. In this video, we'll explain the automatic flight control system, or AFCS, used in the AW-139 helicopter. We'll keep it simple and easy to understand. So whether you're a student, pilot, or aviation fan, you'll get it. Now the first question is, what is automatic flight control system? The AFCS is like the brain behind the helicopter's autopilot. It helps control the aircraft automatically, keeping it stable in the air, following routes, and reducing pilot workload. There are four types of configurations in the AW-139. 1. Basic 3-axis autopilot. It controls pitch, roll, and yaw. 2. 4-axis system with basic 3Q flight director. Adds collective control and provides simple guidance. 3. 4-axis system with enhanced 3Q flight director. Adds hover mode and velocity hold for more automation. 4. Full 4-axis autopilot. Offers the highest level of automation. And precision. This is the cyclic control. You can see cyclic beep trim switch. Cyclic force trim release switch. Flight director standby switch. Autopilot 1 and 2 disengage switch. This is the collective stick of helicopter and you can see. Collective yaw beep trim switch. Go around mode. Collective force trim release switch. Here is the paddles of helicopter and you can see. Yaw force trim release switch. Actuating plates of yaw for trim release switch. Now this is the miscellaneous control panel in the central control console in the cockpit of helicopter. The AFCS is made up of many smart systems. The main ones include. Autopilot 1 and 2, AP1 and AP2. Flight Director 1 and 2, FD1 and FD2. Actuators that move control surfaces like pitch, roll, and yaw. Trim actuators and linear actuators. Guidance controller. Four AFCS modules, placed inside the modular avionics unit's mouse. Sensors like AHRS, RAD Alt, and GPS systems. Each part works together to control the helicopter safely and automatically. This is the general diagram of AFCS and its components installed in Augusta AW-139 helicopter. It include MAU-1 and 2. MRC-1 and 2. The AFCS uses data from sensors. To decide how the helicopter should move. It sends commands to actuators, which move the Helicopter in pitch, roll, and yaw. The system is designed to be fail-safe. If anything goes wrong, the pilot can take over manually. It also uses dual systems for backup. So if one side fails, the other continues working. The pilot can still control everything if needed, but most of the time, AFCS handles flight smoothly. This system makes flying safer easier, and smoother. Especially during long missions, bad weather, or search and rescue operations. It helps pilots focus on the mission, not just flying the aircraft. 